Thank you for tuning in to It's a Wrap. The president's spokesperson, Alfredo Hengari, is an avid watcher of the show and decided to come and clarify a few issues. In this special edition of It's a Wrap, the president's spokesperson and I spoke about a few of the issues we as citizens have been concerned about. Here's what transpired. We looked at media reports and compiled a list of the president's travels, of which we are aware, since he became head of state. Mr. Hengari, welcome to It's a Row. Thank you for having me, Erika. Oh, it's my pleasure. Please, can you tell us, well, the nation is obviously concerned. We find that uh, people are moaning about the fact that the president is hardly here when dramas are going down. Um, what can you say about that? What has the president been doing exactly? I think it is incorrect to say that the president is hardly here. That's the The president spends most of the time in the country talking to Namibians, uh, trying to solve problems facing this country. And uh, I can tell you that uh, that is what is preoccupying the president most of the time, is to deal with the problems of this country wherever he is, whether he's here at home or abroad, is advancing the agenda of development, which is the mandate that he got from the Namibian people. So it's incorrect to say that uh, uh, he's, uh, he's inattentive to the needs of Namibians. So why is it that we hear very little when things are happening that of national concern? For example, the corruption case of Opindi, we've had um, Minister Toya found in Parliament just ogling women and stuff. We hear nothing like in terms of leadership as a leader. So I think uh, it is incorrect to say that nothing is being done, but I think it's also important to know that Namibia is a country that is governed by the rule of law and the president respects the rule of law. The president has tremendous respect for institutions, processes and systems. And that's how a country is governed. It's not, it won't be governed on the basis of a couple of social media posts, you know, condemning this and that. The president is very focused on the critical agenda development. So I think the case that you're mentioning, I don't know what uh, you'd want the president to do on some of those uh, isolated cases. So um, the president will not act willy-nilly. The president will act on the basis of clear, established facts. We just had a land conference that cost 15 million Namibian dollars. Um, shortly before that land conference, which was controversial in itself, we had Minister Itoni embarrass us on ENCA. He then was involved in this land deal. Um, not everybody can agree that correct processes and law was followed in those cases. So and on the land conference, how much, what, what, what is the cause that you would have preferred? Do you have any idea? Well, if I look at the outcomes and the results. I think the outcome was very important. And I think we should not undermine Namibians who meet to discuss critical issues of land. There were many Namibians below a thousand who attended that conference to deal with an issue that has preoccupied Namibians for the past 27 years since the, the first land conference. And the president consulting in itself is an act of respect for Namibians. And that's why some of these things are important. Of course, there will be cost involved, there will be money involved. And it's, it's, it's part of the process of governance. Governance is not cheap. But as the president has committed to, um, he will always try and do things within man manageable budgets. You should not forget that uh, ever since the president came into power, into office, government has, re has been reducing spending cutting non-essential services, and I think it's f for all to see. Um, I cannot agree. We even had Chinese represented at our state, uh, in our land conference, at our national land conference. Um, these are things that concern the uh, as a country, deals with Chinese. The as people country, are not happy. As a country, we should learn from the experiences of others. China also had a land reform program. Many countries across the globe had land reform programs. So there's nothing wrong with learning from others. And it's within that context that we had a Chinese presence at the land, land conference. So I think, it's, uh, I think we should also be far more outward looking as, as Namibians because we benefited immensely from the solidarity of others. So we should not become uh, close to what is happening outside the country. We should not be close to the experience of others. So I think we should, uh, we should re re really remain open. As a small country, it's quite necessary that we learn from the experience. Mm -hmm.